Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and if you're new here, welcome. You're, I am notoriously lazy with these videos, but today, blah, 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 so, but today's subject is slightly different because I have finally decided that I'm going to really speak about my divorce. Back in October, I, you know, announced that I had a divorce. Now I kind of want to ex just kind of like express it a little bit, um, get it off my, not off my chest in a sense. I have a friend who is going through a divorce and, um, they really didn't ask for my advice, but I was thinking there are other people out there in this world that may be going through the same thing that I went through, that they are going through, and need someone to validate their feelings. And I say validate, but say, hey, it's okay to feel these way, this way. So I'm going to start off with a story by about a year and a half ago. I realized that me and my husband were, were not going to stay together. Actually, more than a year and a half ago. It's been almost two years now. So about two years ago, I realized that me and my husband were not going to wind up staying together. And um, mostly because um, he was cheating on me. And every time that he cheated on me, I got mad, I left and came back. Got mad and left and came back. Got mad and left and came back. And the last, between the last two times, we went to marriage counseling. And then during marriage counseling, he decides that he admitted again that he was unfaithful to me. So I filed. I I and this thing filed. I decided I wasn't going to be his wife anymore, and I was the one that had to make the adult decision because I knew that I couldn't let him keep using me for a safe place. He wanted me to be his security blanket. The one thing that he could always come back to. But he also wanted other women at the same time. And that doesn't really necessarily work in a relationship. It should never work that way in a relationship. So, I, we were officially separated in November of 2017. I found out he cheated on me. We started counseling in January and come March he had already been unfaithful again. So at that point I was done. And my back is really uncomfortable and I hurt. <laughs> and so I decided that um, that I was done. I, we, we were still trying to go do family things at this period of time because we wanted the kids to understand that mommy and daddy are not in a relationship, but we can still be friends. So, and then I finally got saved up enough money to file for divorce and get a divorce. Now, where I'm from, marriage is like, I'm, I live in the Bible Belt. I live in the South. It's the southern United States of America. And I... Divorce is like voodoo around here, okay? A lot of people, older people, like grandparents, <laughs> are against it. You know, if it's broke, don't fix it. If it's broken, you do what you can to fix it. Great, we were trying to fix it. But this part, the other part that needed to go with this part, kept fucking crumbling. And I couldn't just go buy a new one. So, I had to be, I had to be the one to say, this is done. And, and that took him a while to comprehend. He went a very spirally downward path for a little bit because he, in his mind, had lost everything. He didn't. He didn't lose everything. I'm, I still talk to him because we do share a child together. And, you know, but I, can no, I could not no longer be his wife because I could not be could not keep putting myself in, my, in that position for him to keep <clears throat> using me as that security blanket because that was unhealthy. It wasn't healthy for me, it wasn't healthy for him, it was unhealthy for the kids. So if you happen to be in that kind of situation, it is okay to say, I'm done. 
it is okay to say I'm stepping away. It is okay to say that I love you, I can't be with you. That is okay. That is, all these things are okay to say. Divorce is okay. Divorce is put in for a reason. Because some people are not compatible. Some people aren't meant to be together. And that's the heartbreaking thing because as a child you are fed through movies and stuff that you know, oh, you know marriage means happily ever after. When you get into adulthood all that run goes away. It goes away. And it happens and that is okay. You know you're, sometimes you're not meant to have happily ever after. Sometimes you're just meant to do you and that is okay. But do not think that you won't ever have family or have the other after either. I have a great boyfriend who's been in the exact same predicament I have. I mean, well, not exact. It's a little bit more complex. It's not. It's not exact. Believe me, mine's a lot simpler. <laughs> but you know, you can. My divorce taught me. I could be a better person without someone that I think I have to have, without someone I think I have to live with, or without a person that I cannot do without. Those are okay because you were alone beforehand. You could be alone again, even if it's just a short period of time. You know, um, my best friend in the whole wide world she thought that I moved on too soon from my divorce and you know what that may be the truth but at that point I had been I filed for my divorce in July of 2019 we've been separated since 2017 at the tail end of 2017 and so we know what year is it it's 2019 now it's not even July ho ho I got my dates wrong I filed in 2018 and so we had been separated by that point like seven months. And before then, I already knew that we were going to be done for. But my brain was telling me to try to fix it. You're in the rut. It was never in the rut. It was just coming to an end. And I did not want to see it. My brain told me that I did not want to see this coming to an end. I can fix it. I know I can. But I couldn't. And that's okay. If you can't fix something... That is okay. Some things are not meant to be fixed. And you just move on from it. Do I regret my marriage or my relationship with him? No. I do not. I got my little baby, Junebug, of it. The sweetest, chubbiest child I've ever seen. <laughs> and and smart. And I learned a lot of life lessons from it. And so did he. I do not regret my relationship with him or my marriage with him whatsoever. What I do regret, now listen to me. What I do regret was the fact that I kept denying myself. I kept telling myself that none of this is broken, that none of this is happening, that none of this, everything's going to work out and it's going to straighten out in the end. I kept telling myself that. And it would straighten out for about three months and then we'd knock back up. And that's not okay. You can't, That that's the problem, is I kept lying to myself. And if you're in that situation where you're thinking to yourself that everything's going to be okay, but nothing keeps going to be okay, it keeps making a full circle and coming back, then you need to be that person to say, you can step up, you can say, I'm done. It's not that you failed, you didn't, and that's another reason why I didn't want to, to seem like I failed as a wife, I did not want to seem like I failed as a mother, because I did not. I did what I had to do. And the end result, we're both grateful for it. However, it did take him some time to see that. And that may happen. That may happen. That you have, wh whoever you split from, if 
being the one to file for divorce is the hardest thing because you don't, for one, it's expensive. For two, you don't want to be the one to say it's done. No one wants to be the one because they, because you've been taught that marriage means happily ever after. And it's not. It's not happily ever after. It's hard. It's hard work. You know, it's not, it's, it's not, divorce is complex, but at the end result of it all, it could be better. Your life could be better. Your life, you could have, the best way I could describe it, after I filed my divorce and left out of the, out of the office, I cried, like I said, for 15 minutes. And then I was, I was kind of over it. That was the only time I cried. Like, as soon as I got in my car and started driving, I cried. And I had to pull over because I couldn't see. But after a while, I was okay again. Because, yes, it's the death of a, of a marriage, okay? It's the, that, that's the end of it. It's done. When, when everything gets filed and signed and whatnot, like, I kind of felt liberated because so much weight had been lifted off my shoulders. So much drama was gone. So much everything was just, it's like the seas had parted and the sky became clear and there was, I was homebound. That's my divorce story, I guess. I mean, however, However you're going, whatever reason you're, you know, you're, you're splitting up for or whatever, the end result is you're going to be okay. In the end, you're going to be okay. And that's the best thing you could do for yourself is to put yourself where you're going to be okay, where you're going to feel great again, where you're going to feel happy again. And that's all you need as a human if you're in a position where you cannot feel happy find a way to make yourself happy if it's leaving a toxic relationship if it's going to a new job whatever that is what you need to do to yourself for yourself because you deserve it no one deserves to be manipulated abused to be someone's security blanket no one needs that you know, yeah, I would love to say to my friends, they can all, I can, I can always be their safe space. And they know it. And then when they need me, they'll come to me. But those are my friends. You know, my boyfriend, he knows that I'm always here to talk and express our feelings. I'm always here. But, like, I've let him, you know, we, we both have been in the predicament where we had really bad marriages. So we have a weird, not weird, it's not weird, it's not weird. We have a great mutual and trust for each other and respect. And that's what you need. You need mutual trust and respect and love. Not, oh, I love you because you're always here and then I get to do whatever the hell I want. And then I suffer no repercussions. That's not what you need. That's what I had and I decided that I didn't need it anymore. Because my children were seeing me fight. They were seeing him fight. And this video is too long. <laughs> you know, divorce is good. Divorce is not bad. Divorce is good. Divorce is there in the systems for a reason. Thank you guys all again for watching. If you like this video and you like me, please hit that subscribe button and share with your friends. Thanks so much, guys. I will see y'all later in the later. Y'all know I'm lazy. I will see y'all later. Bye.